This is a 1925 Radioland TRF radio I just finished uh, restoring. It's got the three tuning dials. Over here it has a speaker output jack. This is volume control. Then you got heater voltage control. And you got the on off switch. As for the cabinets, pretty much original. All I had to do was glue the odd crack and the rest just buffed right out. Very nice. Hardly any damage at all. Same as inside. Didn't have to place any tubes. Had to clean the sockets, a little flaky. And a couple soldered joints in the bottom. Other than that, not much to do on it. Here's a coil shot. And it came with the original directions chart. Very cool. And here back in the day, somebody wrote down the tuning dial numbers for station in San Francisco. Huh, very neat. And here's the instructions for tuning. And the color code for the wiring to which battery. Very nice. It did not come with a speaker, so I had to build this retro looking speaker out of a cardboard epoxy and paint, believe it or not. All cardboard. It's got the volume knob on the back. Oh, that's an open open design in the back. It's got the volume. But from my point of view, that's it. That's engagement. That's yeah. getting kids to step outside. And this being a battery operated set, I had to build a battery eliminator. I kind of went for, a, again, trying to do a retro look, kind of the components stick on the top to mimic tubes. It's got 1.5 volts, 5 volts, 90, and 18 volts out. It's got also a, this is a of course, point to point wiring, I'm trying to keep the same retro look. Uh, this radio uses the uh, 5 volts. 90 and 18. The 1.5 is for a different radio I have. So I'll do a video on one of these days. And uh, yeah, very pleased with the outcome. Thanks for watching.